So wait, what happened with your head? <laughs> I was rushing shaving. I was, my wife had a shoot and I was, I was rushing and I just, you can't, you can't do it fast. But you have them all over. Yeah, I kept cutting myself. And so I was bleeding. Like one... No, no. I, what... I usually and cut what... myself. Like... I usually nick myself at least once, pretty much every time. Mm -hmm. Baby nick. But this one was like, this was a hunk of skin. Let's get to the back. At what point were you like, I'm going to tap out? <laughs> well, that's the thing. I couldn't stop. I had to, I was still. <laughs> This one happened on my like last pass, which was like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> like I literally like I literally was like, I wasn't gonna say anything because I was like, he's probably filming something, like a sketch or something. So I thought it was like prop. You no, know what I'm saying? No. But that I just wasn't being careful. I thought I thought it was to keep a wig on or something like that. Like maybe that's what the glue was or something, but grip. That is how many are in the back? I think two. Jesus, Kevin, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you, what happened? You, this was an attack. I shaved my head last night. Usually I take my time. I, I, I put on a tiny desk, <laughs> listen to some new artists, take my time. But this time, Melissa kept coming up and be like, are you ready? Are you ready? So I was trying to do it fast. And it's just, man, trying to do it fast. You, you, you switch the angle and you. Yeesh. Ouch. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. We can we could just start with the regular banter. Yeah, start without uh, man. Yeah, we 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 already started. I started recording already. We good. I wonder if uh Tony cuts himself. I've never seen him with a band-aid. He does. Never he's never given himself a skibbity pat on his uh <laughs> <laughs> not like that. Tony gave I mean Kev gave himself four cramps. Like nigga. Shut up here. Just shut up about it. <laughs> the second one, I might have been like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just rock with this. Whatever, whatever has been done is just gonna be done. Just... I wonder what to hear would look like bald. I rocked the baldy before. No, uh, so you just had every hairstyle ever. Mm -hmm. Low key, yeah, if you had corn locks, room? Pat, Pat, he had locks like your length. It was weird, weird phase for him. He looked like a gospel singer. He looked like he sold switchblades for sure on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Only to the what? people in the back, though. Only to the people in the back. You ever have cornrows to here? Um, I had them when I was growing my locks. So yeah, I had the cornrows. You didn't. You had them in the D'Angelo video, right? The uh, the yeah, but those weren't like on the sides too. When I was in high school, I had them all over. It was like full, full joints. I, back when Nelly was big, I had I definitely had a man. Damn, did you wear the did you rock the band-aid? I didn't rock the band-aid, but I did have like one pant leg up. I had uh I had I did the tank top wrapped around the head before I did the tank top as like the, the head the wrap half, before. Uh Jason mask? Huh? Did you do the half Jason mask? Nah, 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 nah. Nobody, I mean, unless unless you were slow down, you didn't do that. Nobody really did that except for <laughs> that nigga didn't Nobody have fans. Nobody picked that up. Nobody. No one that he didn't have any fans. <laughs> <laughs> I remember he tried then to sell masks. Nelly, then Ali, and then then or Murphy Lee. I'm sorry, Murphy. Nelly Murphy Lee. Then Ali. Then Ali. Then no, slow then down. the rest of them. <laughs> I feel like Nelly. Murphy Lee was pretty popular after Nelly. Yeah, I, he was pretty popular. He just had a single drop. I want to say late well, last year or quick sneak. Or Wasn't quick his sneak. song uh, something about the hook? <laughs> yeah, what the hook, hook gonna, gonna be? be? I don't literally a song about not you. writing the hook. That's Dumb. hilarious. <laughs> when <laughs> Nelly dropped, were you guys like, ah, oh, finally? Like, like, because no one really talked about St. Louis. Um, I mean, we we had a lot of rappers already in the city. But they just weren't like on a global. Yeah, but we didn't care. By the time Nelly came out, the rest of us care. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that first Nelly video, and he was he had the arch behind him, and I was like, "What was that? What is that?" <laughs> that was, uh, I don't understand you know, you. here where the other uh, where the other St. Louis rappers like, and this should have been me. <laughs> <laughs> He's all right. What's an EI? <laughs> Nelly was like Nelly wasn't doing like 
he, he wasn't like hardcore gangster rap. He was no. he had fun rap. I mean, he was talking yeah. about spraying stuff, you know, street sweeper. He wasn't talking about cleaning up the city. No. But, <laughs> but that is true. <laughs> but the, were, the, were the, people the nursery rhyme made it fun. The, the nursery rhyme made right. it fun and easy going. Street what about sweeper. Chingy? How'd you guys feel when Chingy came out? Chingy was, I mean, the city was happy, bro. We was happy when Chingy. The Nelly, city was happy. <laughs> The CS, yeah, we were like, happy that you know people were looking at the city for talent, man. Chingy, Jay that was y'all version of Drag On, right? Little Huey, what'd you say, Nick? That was y'all version of Drag On, right? Chingy, Chingy was like the St. Louis Drag On, like <laughs> no, Chingy was Chingy. Drag On will always be Drag On. <laughs> What's Drag On? They, they're right there. There, it, it was it was Drag On, Chingy, Bleak. No, nope. that it order. Was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was nah, Chingy was way bigger than Drag On. It was it was Drag On, and then it was Silk the Shocker. Was in the movie. Who is Drag On? The movie. Drag On was Drag On was on a uh, 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 Rough Riders label, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was a Rough Rider. Heard of him? And he was in a, a D, He was in the movie, right? Was it a, he was DMX's classic Rock. movie. Still a movie. <laughs> Still a... <laughs> hey, you were not like, do you remember the Rough Riders, uh, the the album pack where they had everybody? D DMX, yeah. DMX, Eve, Dragon, uh, Rough Riders, DMX, this was, I think. DMX, Rough, Prince. This was a... oh. <laughs> no, I didn't listen to that. I just like I DMX. I, I think that was ninety-nine. So no, it was not. You, you called probably were in riders. middle school. I didn't like crews. I didn't like when they gave the crew a chance ever. <laughs> it's I just like the solo artists. What about uh Wu Tang? But they well, came that, out that as a crew. They, they came out as a crew. They they uh there was uh, only one guy. There was only one guy that I just was like I was skip. It was you god. Like whenever I saw you god, I would just skip. You always over. talk about you god negatively. You didn't see him with the tight sweater in the Triumph video hanging off the tree. That's when I was done. I was like, all right. That like, image you alone, you were like, boom, I'm going to go ahead and get off the bus yeah. here. <laughs> There's too many. But, but Wu Tang had so many other good people. They that that more than accounts for you got. Yeah, it makes up. It actually it makes up for two of them. I think it's Master Killer and You God, but they had like such other great guys where you were like, when they but the only thing about Wu Tang, what they wouldn't do is wouldn't leave the two worst guys at the end. Like they would sneak them in the middle, so you had to stay there. Like you they could have fired like four people. I, I like it would have been it would have taken like the overall like dopeness. Like I, I just feel like if they, if they would have just trimmed the fat, it would have been shorter songs and and easier to remember. This is black blast for me. Everybody is needed in in Wu Tang. Wu Tang is for the children. Wu Tang forever. Where'd that come from? Wu Tang is for the children, because they're not. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nope, they're not. Oh, Dirty said it uh, on the award, the Soul Train Awards, I think. Yeah, but why did he say that? I mean, I was a yeah. children when I was listening to them at first. When I was in middle school, I was a children. I was like, hey man, they said it's okay. All right, thanks guys. Well, <laughs> Thirty six you, you, you grew up in that era, Nick, wearing do rags underneath hats and tying the do rag to the hat. And, Tim's yep. with you know what's funny? Oh, no, I did. You know what's yeah. funny? I, when you were talking about the stuff that I used to do with Nelly, um, I was a big Mace fan, so I used to stick like bottle caps in my cheek, so I could have like a dimple. Oh, but I wanted, okay. to, I wanted not, to be, I want, I wanted to be Mace. Like I was in ninth grade. Like Mace, when Mace came out, like the stocking cap and putting the stocking cap under the eyebrows and <laughs> stay up and all that. Like it was huge. <laughs> like the waves, Mace waves was crazy. So I used to always yeah. like. I used to brush them and then take the album cover and be like, not yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hold on, I let's go back to the bottle caps for a second. Yeah, Nick. I don't get how it. Did that, how did that make you have a difference? I don't get it. <laughs> Practically, <laughs> I, I, meant to say, I meant to say market caps. I used to take the market caps and I would stay in high school and just do this all day, right? And then I would do this. Like when people would talk to me, I would like smile to the side <laughs> and just try to get like the little imprint to the side. Cause Mace had the, you know, in all the Mace videos, he's like, Mace had the ladies, and he'll smile, and then you see the dimple, I'm like, God, I had, that's that's how I'm gonna get it. That's if how I'm gonna get it. You push the marker to your face from second to fifth period, so in sixth period, you could prove that you were Mace. And all smile to the side, that's hilarious. That's crazy, guys. 
And then <laughs> when funny. people would call me, when people would call me, everybody <laughs> in New York at one time was doing the Mace Hello. Like when somebody would call you like, hello? Like Mace was, yo, Mace was trending when we, in New York, it man. It was. Mace, Mace's first album was legendary though. Like no lie, that first album All was All Star? Huh? Hello. All World All Stars? No. That's all the world. Or all the world. All the world. Yeah, all the world. All the world. All the world. Sorry, I was on a call, you guys. Shut up. Late. Shut up. Kevin was trying to take his lace front on and ripped his hair off. <laughs> what happened? You, you were just, something. you went a little too hard with the razor? Too hard with you the razor. Very hard with the razor. Really hard. Why? I was rushing. We, we went over this when you were late. I know, but tell me. I want to know. I cut my head, my head shaved multiple times. Did you feel it when you did it? Or you yes. Not? Things. And then I still had to put the aftershave on to make sure I don't get razor belt. How often do you have to shave your head? Usually I shave it every two days, but this what? weekend I got lazy and I didn't shave it until Monday. And that's also why you're more likely to cut yourself when you have more hair on your head. You just have to go over it more times and therefore you're more likely to get cut. Yeah. Jeez. That's like a hassle. How so. do you prevent, well, I like, I see a lot of like, you have like a, like a, a flawless bald head, right? <laughs> but I see like people that have like the, the, the rocks, you know what I'm saying? Like the bumps, like the multiple the bumps. Like that. The the cell, yeah, like, the like, like you, on the head. you and Tony have like the classic TV ball heads. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> the best, out there. The best ball, ball head. heads are when you are like, there's no hair follicles up there. Like when there's dead hair, it is the smoothest and shiniest. Like the probably the best ball head in the game is Damon Wayans. He has literally the perfect bald head. It's so shiny all the time. That's the world. That's what we 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 in the ball community. We've talked about Damon. He's top tier. But, is there um, anybody with a bald head that is like dry? I feel like I've never seen a Rock, dry bald head. The Rock's yeah. bald head is not is not shiny. The Rock. He's just the Rock. He's pretty shiny. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? There's always a sheen to it. Rock has a pretty it's shiny. Not Damon Wayne's sheen. Right. What is what is that? Is that coconut oil? Like, what is that to get it that shiny and greasy? The head, the head naturally produces oil, Meg. Like, so right. the scalp would naturally do it, but some people put some extra on it too. Do they? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. What do you what do you put on your head, Kev? Just aftershave, and that's I don't it. Put, I just have aftershave. I don't put anything on my head. I only put beer products. I have pretty matte skin though, so I think the hair on my head is also oh, kind of. You, you ever saw a low down, dirty shame? Yeah. Do you ever do your head like that? Like, you know how he did a slow motion? Like, he was like, shh, shit, like, let the water just like slash to the side. <laughs> no, but when I was like, the kid, only reason I want a ball head. When I was a kid, I used to want to do with, in the movies, the white people would do that and they flick their hair back. <laughs> I used to want to do that. I used to do it. It just didn't have the same effect when you were a little black boy. No, no. I could do that now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I get out the pool. But can you get all your locks to go in one area or do they be all over the place? And why did you not get all of that ash off your locks? What happened? Halloween was three days ago, two days ago. It's a long time to get out. You have to wash it a bunch of time. Was it spray? Heavy spray. I had to use five bottles. Five oh, did you really? Okay, well that, okay. It was, Dang. It was dedication. I, I walked back there, he was Three a lot of, lot of hair. <laughs> and it doesn't look like a color unless you, you have to get like every side of every dread. It's weird. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's going to be right. like this for a little bit. You could have just man, Let's go ahead and kick it off, man. We're going to jump right into this first topic right after this. What's up, guys? It's your boy hear more, And I know everyone has a new norm. For me, is wearing a nice jacket, a white t-shirt, and one of my five pair of Mack Weldon joggers. Okay, I have on the blue pair right now. I will show y'all. You know what? I, I'm just figure out where. See it? Mm. That's my new norm. Okay, I need to be comfortable, but I also need to be able to be able to run out the house real quick, run some errands, and I can do that all with my Mac Weldon on. 
They have all the men's essentials from socks, shirts, hoodies, underwear, polos, active shorts. Mack Weldon promises comfort and a consistent fit, which is all I'm really asking for. I just showed you the five pair of joggers that I have, but I also have about six pair of underwear, so I've spent enough. And because of that, I'm part of Weldon Blue. Weldon Blue is a free, totally free loyalty program. And there are a couple levels. Level one gets you free shipping for life. For life. Once you reach level two by spending $200, you get 20% off every purchase for a year. And you still get the free shipping. So, sounds like a win-win. I mean, if you're going to spend the money anyway, you might as well sign up for the loyalty program so you can go ahead and get those extra perks, those extra benefits. One of the many great things I love about Mack Weldon is they, they stand behind their product, okay? Mack Weldon wants you to be comfortable. So, if you don't like your first pair of underwear, for any reason, you can keep them and they'll still refund you, no questions asked, which is great. It's also probably the best and the most sanitary thing to do. If they was taking back draws that were already worn, we'd have to have another conversation. Now comes the part that you guys all been waiting on, 20%, okay? That's the deal that I'm hooking you up with right now. All you have to do is visit MacWeldon.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D, and enter the promo code squad as well, S Q. U-A-D-D. -D. That's going to get you 20% off your first order. Okay? Super easy. They have all the bases, t-shirts, uh, underwear, polos, joggers. Listen, go check them out. Grab grab a couple things. Get 20% off. All you have to do again is visit MacWeldon.com slash squad S-Q-U-A-D-D -D, and use the promo code squad S-Q-U-A-D-D -D, and get 20% off the order. Alright, y'all. Peace. All right, so we had a different topic, but everybody, well, Meg and Kev feel strong that we should switch it to this one. So today's first topic is, what's worse, spending the night at Pat's house or spending the night at Tahir's house? <laughs> Why what's worse? Why not what's better? Does it make a difference? Uh, what's worse is funnier. <laughs> I feel like Tahir, Tahir's house smells like incense and like old records. And then, oh, Pat, smell. yeah, Pat's house, like, there's no place, like, I feel like there's just, there might be an air bed with, like, mismatched pillowcases that you might be. <laughs> I have a really on. nice bed. It's Tempur-Pedic. I'm saying, but if somebody's spending the night with you, like, they need, a, they need a place to sleep. And I feel like you would offer, like, a, I don't know, an air mattress that gets flat in the middle of the night. And then First of all, I am a ton of fun <laughs> at a sleepover, Okay. I have all types of activities. We could paint, <laughs> you know, we could play games. I, I fell asleep on my roof last night. It was great. Wait, Wait a what? Wait a tick. How did what? you get up there? No, there's like, like a little there's like a little thing on the roof. It's a fireplace. And I brought a beanbag up there. And the weather was lovely. And I knocked out. It, it, it's it, it's a it's a Did great the roof completely flat? Uh, huh? You said what? The roof completely flat. Is no, the there's just a flat, flat part of it. There's just a flat part of it. That's so did cool. you plan to go to sleep there? Or you're just like, this is cool. I'm gonna just go ahead and if mm -hmm. I if it happens, it happens. Who was that? That wasn't Melissa. <laughs> That's my cousin Rebecca. <laughs> Your cousin is it? Hmm, let's go make sure you have a cousin named Rebecca. That's my actual <laughs> my, my mom and her mom are sisters, not the black people cousins. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I figured she went yeah. to an HCU. To hear <laughs> left because he didn't want us to talk about his house. To hear don't even feel at home in his house. He'd probably be ready to go the whole night. <laughs> 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 Looking at hotels to check into and, and sit in. Pat probably, hmm. I feel like Pat would not have adequate furniture for the rest of the people. No. I don't feel like Pat be thinking about when people are coming over, like, oh, here's a blanket. You know those memes of like, when you towels, fall asleep at your cousin's house, and you, you gotta got no, like- No matching towels, you ain't got no extra towels. Towel. Yeah, but I feel like- there's other fun stuff. To hear <laughs> only You're offer. gonna be stinky, and you're not gonna have a place to sleep, but we're gonna do fun stuff. No, you're not, first of all, my shower is amazing, so nobody's But what, what good is a shower? You ain't got no extra towels, Pat. I do have extra towels. How I feel like I you got one towel, and all you do with that one towel, you wash it and you put it back on a rack. Oh, you got no extra towels for people. But what we're not talking about is the fact that 
these people will be having fun at my house. At Tahir's house, all he has to offer is the extra tower, towels and furniture. Towers? There's no fun in got extra towers? Oh, are we doing this? Mm -hmm. we doing Anytime this? anyone Where messes up, found? I'm definitely taking advantage of it. Absolutely, we're doing this. Towers? Yes, extra towers. At your house, that's like what they're called. If, it's a if tower. You go to at Tahir's house, he's like, all right, before you lay down, here, listen to this 1976 uh, Cooling the Gang, a special single that only came out on this. Listen, <laughs> on this you one day, my, you're like, oh, you cool, man. Crib, you're okay, now let's. Uh, you're going to eat good. You're going to be you're gonna be well nutritioned. You're going to have some great sleep, okay? You go to Pat's house, and it's a 24 hour party. They're only drinking oh, white cloth. Party. Uh, there's never no toilet tissue. Because it doesn't. If the bathrooms are really okay. nice. There's no toilet tissue and there's no towels at all. There's, and there's, there's no soap. There's no soap at the sink. I, where I, are I'm you guys I'm getting this information? Pat, you, know, you, you got hand soap at every house. single house. When you go to Pat's house, you have a chance of seeing a loose dog that is friendly. That is not going to happen. Here's that kind of Pat kind of gives you got the dog roof, the roof the what. The roof of your vibes, like you'll go there and you gotta imagine food. Like remember in the movie Hook, where it was like they he's like, where's the food? It was like an imagine it, and they was just eating imaginary food. Like I just don't, I just don't feel like I'll be, I'll eat. Why do you guys? I, like, I, I think like I have Pat nothing at my house. I feel like Pat will give me this. Eat like that, bro. You do not be yeah. eating like that. I do eat. You what, don't, you bro. I've been around you a lot. You when you was at all dev, you ate like seven times in four years. That's because we was working on set, and that's when I'm I eat the la the least. I feel like Pat would have a really nice house, but it's gonna be no furniture. All the furniture is used to build forts inside the house. So it's <laughs> these random tents. I do have nice furniture. It's just it's I'm, I just moved. It's not there now. But it's every time, coming. every place we've seen you in, look like you just moved. It don't matter how long you've been there. We ain't got enough, a lot of furniture. Whether okay, furniture aside, it's about which one is more fun. No, that which one is worse to spend the night fun. at? I th think uh, Pat would be more fun. To hear, I would have a great meal and some some sweet tunes, uh, a new whiskey that I hadn't tried before. Um, his daughter's taller than him, so that's funny to see. Uh, I just like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> got nothing to do with it. He's, He's just, just gonna coming. be playing trumpet the whole time. All <laughs> at his house, all you gonna hear is trumpet, and it's <laughs> he gonna want to kill yourself. <laughs> like to his Pat, house is more comfortable. Pat's house is probably more fun. So what is more Pat, important? Pat is, Pat is going to like be playing random instruments and starting stuff, but never finishing it. Like he be like, yo, let's play cards, and then you'll start shuffling, and then he'll go start playing the video game. Like, what are you doing? I thought we were. <laughs> I thought we were going to play cards. He's like, I got to twitch real quick. He's like, all right, cool. Well, I'll pull it up and watch while you do it. And he'll just leave and go start playing the piano. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't get how you guys can any that of feels you. right. Feels about right. I don't understand how leave, these. Leaving the video games to go start playing piano is just a funny <laughs> visual. Enough of this. No video game. Do <laughs> look. He won't end the Twitch stream. He'll just keep he'll just keep it going and they'll just hear the piano and they'll stick around. I did that once. <laughs> on accident. Oh wait, I'm, you really you there's already proof of you leaving a video game and going immediately to play the piano? No, 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 no. I I, I left the Twitch. I was like, I'll be right back. And I never came back. <laughs> it was just my chair for like six hours. <laughs> did people stay on? Yeah. <laughs> And now How they have trust. Get to come back from that. Now they now they don't think I'll ever come back when I say I'm, I'll be right back. Mm -mm. See, trust, trust you know what I mean, I okay. fell asleep. That that so goes here, to show you. you go to Pat's house. It's either gonna be some house. loose dogs or some loose women. No hand towels. No hand soap. No extra toothpaste. Why do you keep saying I have no soap? <laughs> I don't feel like I feel because like, you know sometimes you go to somebody's house and they don't have no hand soap and you'd be like, what, what was that? What was that? What, what, what do I wash my hands with? Wash your hands. You want me doing this? <laughs> it's gonna be soap oh. in the bathroom, but it's definitely gonna be dawn. It's gonna be for the kitchen, but it's gonna be in the bathroom. And then it's gonna be nothing to dry your hand with. You're just gonna be looking. You're like, I gotta touch this doorknob with my hands wet. 
<laughs> okay, I am I am bad about leaving a a towel in the bathroom, but I have soap. See, that was Darn. one point out Darn of seventeen. Soap. You got bad dish detergent. Made you got up. dish detergent for people's hands in the bathroom. Listen, I, I, I am a very good host to company. Everybody, Pat, how many extra laughing. towels do you have at your house clean right now? You said what? How many extra towels do you have clean at your house right now? Well, what is extra? I mean, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, to be fair, I do need to do my towel laundry. So right now is a bad example. <laughs> I, do, I have about five or six. <laughs> That's enough, right? It doesn't count if they're never clean, Pat. That means you have zero. What? If they're not clean, you you just wait till you use them all. That means you have no extra towels. The point of extra towels is there's always something there. You you have towels that you literally never touch. They're just for- No, no, no. I'm saying they're always rotated out. If I'm washing one, there's there's something in there. So in case somebody wants to stay the night, it's a clean towel for them to use. So you only have one one clean towel right now, Pat? No, I have clean. They're, they're, it's just like hanging on my shower because I used it today. <laughs> so, so basically, we got to kind of bring all of our own shit, like pillow, blanket. I have like, six towels. <laughs> I don't know how many I'm supposed to they have. They dirty. Yeah, it don't <laughs> count if they For dirty. One person is, enough. is it six bath towels, hand towels, and, and, and uh, washcloth towels, or just no. six towels, oh, period? Six big towels, two medium towels, and like like five to 10 uh, washcloths. All right. See, so anybody who wants to clean in my house got clean. Man, no, it, that is enough, that, but if it's is that, not clean, it doesn't matter. Is that between you and Fred or is that just- Oh, no, it's what's just mine. The, what's the water pressure like when you're showering? <laughs> crazy. Like, is it is it is it like drippy or is it like no, like, like it's sh- crazy best shower I've ever had. Wine ever. drunk in the shower, so you know the shower got to be pristine. Yeah, yeah I haven't <laughs> done that at the new place yet. Actually, I low key feel like Pat be washing dishes while he's in the shower, so like he doesn't. <laughs> which was all of this? Why the dawn? Why the dawn dish <laughs> detergent li- liquid is in the shower and in the bathroom? Horrifying like, visual. I hated the visual. Well, how many? Yeah, like, do you have like a set of plates and like he, cups, or is it like random? He, um, he, wait, huh? what'd you say, Kim? Oh, what'd you say, Kim? I said to here is really hospitable. Man, my internet is unstable. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Yeah. 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 Really? You just keep okay. freezing with funny faces. I said, you're to here is really hospitable. So I feel like if you spend the night at his house, he'd be like, yes. All right. Here is a, a, a London English tea for you. Cream and sugar. Here's your bed neatly made. Here's a, a fluffy hand towel, washcloth, full towel. Here's your personal music. And for dinner, we're having bolognese. <laughs> you have a, I'd be like, dang, itinerary. Shahir gets aggravated easily. So like, like he'll get aggravated. Like you just be like, hey, where's the bathroom? Ah! Like, like <laughs> he gets aggravated easily. I, I do get aggravated easily, but it's, it's usually with people, people who are not too. like trying, okay? And listen, I'm very hospitable. I, I show you where everything, I give you a grand tour so you don't <laughs> have to want or, or have to ask for anything. You'll know what everything is. And I stay out of your way. Cause you know, everybody's different. Some people come over your house, they want to hang with you. Some people just want to get away. So they just want to get away. I show them where everything is. I get out of their way. I go to my office. You ain't never had to interact with me. But if they come over to kick it, then, hey, what do you want? PS, PS4, PS5, we got Xbox 360. We got all the streaming services you can want. It's a good time. Who's who's coming over just to get away and not hang out with anybody at the house? Here <laughs> thinks he's that we are like him. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I just hate. I just gotta get away, man. I. So I wait, 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 wait. Let me let me ask y'all this. Y'all don't have friends who y'all can be in the same room with, and y'all all just be working on something. Nobody, y'all don't really always have to interact. Y'all literally just working. Y'all y'all sitting there talking the entire time is what you're telling me. Why are you here? Why are you here? here? You can do that at I home mean, and can be really quite next to each other. Yeah. Don't come to my place. Don't come to my place and be in your own world. 
You know what I'm saying? You, you gonna pick up these sticks. We gonna play some games. <laughs> Why are you aggressively playing the game? You gonna play taboo and you're gonna have a great time. <laughs> I agree. Or squaring up. I guess I'm going to. I guess. So I'm gonna have to go to Pat's house and sleep on some bottles, man. Cause to hell, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have a guest room. Do, do you have a bed in the guest room that has a mattress and some blankets on it? Yes. Does they have guest sheets room. on a bed? His guest room is full of shopping ports. I don't know why. You, have, you ain't got no sheets on a bed. Okay, my guest. Okay, the guest bed has a mattress and a, a um a uh, like a like a sheet on it. It doesn't have a comforter okay. yet. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest. When we was on Zoom with the homies, it didn't look comfortable in your square. I was gonna be, I was gonna be totally honest. Where was I? I, it didn't look, I didn't know where you were at. <laughs> I don't know where I was at either. Which one was there, it? There you go. There you go. My, my room's empty. It still has to be painted. This isn't fair. I'm freshly moved in and y'all are talking about I don't got nothing. Hey, every <laughs> time you live somewhere, I'm telling you, uh, to hear when y'all was doing um, Damn Internet You Scary back at, at Pat's old place, was it decked out? Or like his room, he had all the stuff that you would need I to stay? furniture, yes. I, I, was I, it I enough honest, furniture for somebody never, to stay? I never went in Pat's room. I just, I didn't feel like I was welcome in there. To be fair, that was a... That was like a little thought stage because I, I broke my bed and I was I was doing the whole mattress on the floor thing at that house for a little uh, bit. Uh, I didn't want to say uh, it. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say so I just had that was that was just because because I, I I I broke the I broke the bed. How you break uh, the bed, Pat? Being a law. I don't remember. <laughs> no, it wasn't I I smashed my bed to smithereen. It wasn't like that. It was like a. It was like the, one of the things in the middle. The support beams. Broke and how does support beam break? And you over here frail. <laughs> <laughs> you broke it because you was out here doing too much nasty stuff with the oh, loose women in your house. Got the here. loose dogs running around. Hold on, Pat. She said, "How you break it? You over here frail." <laughs> yeah, I heard her, Kev. <laughs> oh no, I didn't. <laughs> You didn't give her the required laugh that she was deserved. <laughs> so to you yeah. over here, yeah. frail. I know you ain't break the bed with your frailness. Yeah, <laughs> I did have the mattress on the floor. Bad example though. Bad. So if you no, it's perfect because Pat, out of all of us, none of us have had a bed on a, a mattress on the floor for yep. an extended yep. period of time in our never. adulthood. You've never been My in between bed beds. A long time ago. <laughs> No, I had, I'm trying to think if I, no, I ain't never really been between bare friends. My it's all kids, framed up, huh? Kids broke their butt one time. They were jumping off the top bunk onto the bottom and they broke those like support beams underneath it. So when we just, they just had to share beds after that. Cause they're but children we, uh, and that's what children do. They have beds on floors cause they broke their bed. Every good kid breaks the support beams of their bunk bed. You know what I'm saying? That's when it's time to let it go. <laughs> were you jumping on the bed, Pat? No. I'm sure he was. To be fair, it was a very trash. I see Pat being day. like, it's my room, it's my room, it's my room. <laughs> Pat, Jumping I feel like when you go to hotels, fun. they give you two queens and you be like, dude, I go up when my kids have hotel rooms and they have the two queens, I'll be like, man, let's jump. They be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you <gotta laughs> jump. We, have, we have pillow fights. You shouldn't grow out of those things. No. Jump, jumping on a bed is still fun, but no you can't fun. do it on a tempur You just got to get the springy ones. Yeah, tempur don't really... You'll don't sink right in. That's a grown bed. bed. That's a lay down and sleep nicely bed. See, yeah. that's what I have. Grown bed. I know, but that's for yourself. You don't have floor, nothing for anybody man. else to say with you. It's no. on the floor. No, it was on the floor. I have a nice little frame now. Patrick, you don't have to have a housewarming and prove everybody wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, <laughs> listen, Nick. Here's the thing, though, Nick. If you have a housewarming, he's literally going to be moving out in three months. Like he, he's never at. This is why Patrick doesn't have debt because they can never find his mailing address. Pat, this year, this year alone, Pat has moved four times. Pat, why? Are you like? Are you squatting and you just going from like empty house to empty house, oh, hoping that they don't come back? Up. It's just a little switch up. This this year was was different, and it was because of COVID. I'm not moving. We anymore. might we might need to check Pat's backyards and dig them up 
after he leaves because we've got to find out what's going on. There's a reason why he's leaving. You know are what I'm saying? saying? Are you selling? Are you signing year long leases? Yeah. And you're you got out of breaking them, or there something happened in the, oh, the 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 last one was broken by the owner to rent it out for like like a crazy amount. So we just switched oh, okay. over. This was just like a switching. But up before that, it was just moving after a year. But it's easy to move because you just take the four dishes and the towels and leave, right? Like it's not like a lot of people so moving. I be moving by putting stuff in the back seat. Like, oh man, I'll be moved he in. He puts in all the dishes in the towel and then he ties them up and he puts them on the stick. <laughs> <laughs> I use boxes. It's not easy to move four times in a year oh, when you have a lot of stuff. That's how I know Pat don't have nothing, I, okay? did not move four times. That was Pat, the, Pat three. you move from the, the first place in the hills, all right? And then you move to the to the to the to the uh to the to the studio until the new house is ready. Then you move it to the new house, the one with the pool and the jacuzzi and the, like kind of grotto. Then you move back to okay, the that's... studio. And now you just moved into this new house. So you're right. You didn't move four times. You moved five times this year. I didn't know you were counting. Okay, I didn't know you were counting. <laughs> <laughs> it was the two little stages of the studio the receipts, that, that you forgot about. I didn't, Yo, he's he's been at that studio. He's had that studio as long as we've known him, though, I know, and before that. But that's so weird because, y'all, we know about the studio, but we don't ever know where Pat lives. Like, that's, that's kind of scary. The studio, like, why why? Keeps the studio for Because you're, like, homeless for us. For real, you just keep moving. You don't really have a real home That's address. That's true. I just have a, my studio has better internet than the places that I end up living. Like, so the what I do see you guys is for, <laughs> I have to shoot there. I feel like you have a work address, but you don't have a home address when they tell you to fill out that line. <laughs> that is the, uh, the kid from Blindside. I never had one of these before. Your own room, my own bed. <laughs> <laughs> that part was extra. It was just like, okay. Oh, I was like, okay, just everybody take it yeah. easy. But I will yeah. say, oh, even shit. though Pat's house doesn't look as comfortable to like stay in, it looks like so much fun Thank to you. just like kick it. Like every time I see his stories or whatever, I'm like, what is this randomness that's going on in Pat's house? It looks like so much yeah, fun. There was that's what I was there on, on the Halloween thing. They had women in a Lamborghini. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Most people just have candy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun time. It's all you're gonna be laughing, you're gonna be entertained. Yeah, you might be confused for a second on where to dry your hands. That's fine. In the, the big scheme of things, when you're leaping and you're saying, Did I have a good time? And that, you, you might know, be hungry because it ain't no food. There's only a jar of mayonnaise and like one cup. Or you be doing uh postmates all the time. A lot of postmates, but I, I am trying to cook more. Jay, here in Pat are probably even when it comes to hosting like parties and stuff like that. Cause to hear like, you know, like, like cable guy, like to hear like the, the dope karaoke party with the thing, the spiraling thing in the back. Like I think they, so I think they both even on the fun side. I just think it's just more of who's going to kick you out first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I think Pat would have the nerve to kick you out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, like, I, like, think you, Pat, yeah, I think Pat, Pat would like, welcome you. You can stay here on this stay. pallet I've made on the floor that has one <laughs> blanket and half a pillow. Pallet? <laughs> well, you better would be annoyed by you. He'd be like, oh, another person in my house? I got to get away from you. You came here no, to get away. No. I got to get away. I, 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 I have been kicked out of your house. I'd be like, checked, you can stay for a month, man. I have checked no, you kicked a bunch of us out of your house for some party, and it was like 8 p.m. And we was like, oh, okay, let's go. Ooh, See? All right, guess, guess that's it. You Who? do be kicking people out of your house. Who? Who? You, to here. You, oh. you, Martin Lawrence, to here. You be kicking people out. You have time limits. You do. Or you do. You, you ain't got to go home. Yeah, yeah, see, and yeah, you announce it, too. You be like, I hope everybody have fun. But uh, that's, that's just, everybody that's, goes listen, to Listen, I got a family. I got a family that needs to go. Oh, now you got a family. Time. It's just now like you, got a family. you you are in here from this hour to this hour. Thank y'all for coming. I send people home with stuff. I, I send them home with, with, with thank you gifts. They get they get candles when they leave. It's he still said, a good time. He don't even give you face that's, warning. Let's just put it to a vote. Let's just put it to a vote. Let's put it to a vote. <laughs> Can I vote? Yes. Yeah. I think it be more fun at my house. <laughs> We're saying which house is worse to stay the night at? I was 
I think I'll be scared in Pat's house. I feel like I feel like I don't know. I just feel like there's creepy shit in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, like you know when the lights turn out, you just see like those glowing eyes and stuff like that. Like you don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know, like, there's monsters, monsters at my house. house. <laughs> there, there, there's the creatures at your house with the red eyes. Oh, and then you turn a, turn the light back on, and it's a bunch of hoes that just have like yellow contacts just sitting in there. You're saying that my house is haunted by hoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, man, where you staying? Um, I think it'd be worse to stay at Pat's house because I like my comfort. I like to be comfortable wherever I stay. And to hear okay. definitely is that kind of person. Pat, whatever. I'm comfy. You see how Not I dress? <laughs> you don't think I would have a comfy spot? No. Kev? SMH. I would stay at Pat's house because I feel like he would sit here would be comfortable, but then he would be annoyed that he don't have it don't be quiet enough. He'd be like, dang, bro, you you be breathing and stuff. You ain't say you was gonna be doing all that. That's, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. To him. I feel like he gonna, gonna like, don the mask. <laughs> oh yeah, then he gonna he turn out about the mask. Right? The mask is in my bedroom. It's not like I'm sitting on the couch with the mask on. What is wrong with y'all? Yeah, Watching Law and Order. Well, you know what? I'm going to pick my place too. Is better. Pass is worse. So it's still three to three to two. So shut up. <laughs> well, with that attitude, since to hear everybody be on the show, I'm going to stay at your hair's house. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. <laughs> I don't want my screen to come off. So yeah, I'm, I'm saying that to hair. Sorry, Pat. You you blackmail. Okay. There it is. <laughs> Looks like my house is the better place to stay. Uh, we're gonna move on to this next topic right after this. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like today all I do is shop online. Okay, I'm buying everything online. My favorite department stores, grocery stores, everything is bought online for me right now. And that's where our sponsor Honey comes in. Okay, it's a free browser extension that scouts the internet for promo codes and automatically, automatically applies it the best one available at checkout. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Definitely needed that. Honey is basically your online shopping best friend. All right, here's how it works, all right? You get Honey on your computer. If you have a computer, you should have Honey on it. And it's very easy to get. All you have to do is go to joinhoney.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. That's step number one. Then, when you're checking out on one of its over 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up, and all you have to do is click Apply coupons. That's it. Within a few seconds, Honey searches the coupons for that site and it applies the best ones to your cart. Now, I told y'all, I, I, this is what I do. Online shop is what I do. My department store is one of those type of stores. You go in there, you only plan on spending $50, right? But when you leave out of there, you either get to spend $150. We all know that type of store, right? Because of that, I started shopping online. I go online, I get exactly what I need that's on my list, and then I click Honey, boom, apply coupons, it searches, boop, 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 comes back, saves me an additional $17, okay? Now, you might be saying $17. Yes, $17. That's $20 I get to save. And because I didn't go to the store, that's another hundred dollars I get to say. So it actually saved me a hundred and twenty dollars. Thank you, honey. Listen, guys, honey has found its over 17 million members, over two billion dollars in savings. Honey supports all kinds of retailers from tech and gaming sites to fashion brands and even food delivery. All right. So simple. All you have to do if you have a computer. Honey should be on it. It's free and it works with whatever browser that you use. You can get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. Again, that's joinhoney.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and start racking up the savings today. What y'all waiting on? One of the craziest things is we always have our phone with us, so we're always taking pictures, but we never get those pictures printed out. Think about back in the days you used to go over your grandmother, your auntie, uncle's house. Everybody had photo albums. We just kind of stopped doing that, which is crazy because we have some of the best 
cameras available to us today. Technology has never been great and we just stopped printing our pictures. Well, thanks to Paint Your Life, you don't have to do that anymore. And the proof is in the pudding, guys. Look, this is a picture that Farron and I took at this event. It was an all-white event. Very amazing event. Shout out to Farron because she was actually one of the, the leads there. So it's an amazing picture, right? I sent that in to Paint Your Life because I wanted to get a done for our anniversary. And this is the picture that they did. Look at this. Look how amazing this is, right? This is, come on, man. Listen, I know for a lot of people, you need to see it. That's why I showed you that, okay? Because you get to see exactly how dope Paint Your Life is. You get a hand-painted portrait by a professional artist, and you, you get to tell them exactly what you like, what you don't like, every step of the way. It doesn't have to be one picture. You could send a couple of pictures in to merge family members together in one portrait. That's crazy. You guys should try to get on this immediately because I know a lot of people won't be able to spend the holidays together because of everything that's going on. So you can grab some pictures, put it together in one portrait, and you can send that out to your grandparents or your parents or whoever may need that uplifting meeting at that moment. Paint Your Life provides you with a, with a, with a gift that is meaningful, personal, and something that can be cherished forever. It makes a perfect holiday gift or anytime gift for someone that you love or for yourself. Now, to be able to get this, okay, at paintyourlife.com, there's no risk. You don't have, you, if you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded. And that is huge because we all care about our money, okay? It is refunded and it's guaranteed. And right now, it's a limited time offer. You get 20% off your painting, okay? 20% off and free shipping, okay? Free shipping is, that is a French chef kiss. That is the cherry on top because we all love that. Now, to get this special offer, all you have to do is text the word CAST, that's C-A-S-T, to 64,000. Again, text the word CAST, C-A-S-T, to 64,000. One more time, for my people in the back, text the word CAST, to 64,000 and Paint Your Life was gonna hook you up with 20% off your painting and free shipping. Do something dope this holiday spirit for your family or for yourself, but check out Paint Your Life. All right, second topic of the day. What's better, first day of school versus the last day of school? Mm. Last. Aren't they equally great? I mean, they both have benefits. I would say the last because the last day has a way less chance of being bad. You know, like it's the last day you don't care about the classes. Everybody's having fun. Everybody's saying like, you know, what you're doing this summer, all that stuff. And then the first day is usually dope. But if you get a crappy class, a crap, crappy teacher, people you don't like or you don't know in your class, it, I've had I've had some bad first days. So, but last days are usually I don't know. It seems like they're usually more fun. Well, they're, I think they're usually more fun because the teachers are like, F y'all, I'm done. Uh, so there's no, you're not learning nothing. It's really just, you just came a day to say bye to everybody. It's not really, to me, it's kind of, it's fun because you're not doing anything. But I always love the first day of school. Like I can remember because I would think about like laying my outfit out, the my fresh new kicks. I usually always would got like uh, uh fresh white pair of Reebok classics like every year as my like one of my shoes and I just always you remember laying my like outfit out. Was walking rocking the white Reebok classics that was the southern shoe of choice yes you couldn't just, go wrong with the class you can never go so I always had one pair at least one pair of, of white Reebok classics and they just like I think about it, it just was the first day. It's a new beginning of everything, no matter how bad last year was. <laughs> like this is just new everything, new grade, new people, new everything. I new think I growing up military, we had some bad first days. Like when you grew up and you went to a school off base, or at least when I did, it was a little bit more of a transition when them kids all knew each other their whole life. You went to a military school and all it was on base. There's always a whole bunch of new kids, but them, them friends that are like, man, shut up. I felt like Forrest Grump when he was getting on the bus and they was just like, can't see it here. I was like, ah, this sucks. So, um, but by the end of the year, it's usually great. 
So I'd say I had, I, I can't think of a bad last day of school. I can think of a few couple bad first days. Mm -hmm. and the excitement towards the end is just great, man. Pizza parties and watching Goof Troop and our Goofy, I mean, and Lion King. It was great, man. This guy gets it. For first days for me, I was always horrible because of fashion pressure. I didn't know what I needed to wear on the first days of school. You know what I'm saying? Cause I used to watch TV for me, especially going into high school was always like, all right, maybe I need, to, I was a big happy days fan, you know? So I was like a big Fonz fan. So I remember my first day of school, I bought like the leather, the tight jeans and the Durango boots. And then when I went to school, like everybody teased me that day. What so I remember year I was like, going I always, to school, Nick? Uh, I went to school and I graduated in 99. So what year well, was it? Was well, it that's your problem. Why are you trying to dress like the 70s kids in 99? Yeah, why were you watching Happy Days? <laughs> Happy Days came on. Happy Days came on in uh on, reg on regular TV for me. Happy Days was dope. I know, but I, you didn't uh, have to dress like them. You knew that wasn't the oh, same hey. area. I never, I never, like for me, because I went to Catholic school like for like eight years in elementary. So when I went to high school, the first day of high school was hell for me because I didn't know what, like you remember you were wearing uniform oh, every day. True. So going into high school, so I never- School knew. uniform to the to dressing like the Fonz? <laughs> to the Fonz, no, that's all I knew him and I knew like Zach, right? Y'all like, i tell you like quick, I used to, I used to, uh, I think Kev actually, I brushed my hair backwards, <laughs> like be like him. And for black kids, it didn't look right. Like my, it was back, it was moose back. What? I, I'm telling you a true story. I, my first day of school, I brought, I moosed my hair backwards. And then I had the, brown, the, the leather jacket. Wait, the, no the, moose the, didn't take? Huh? Wait, how much the hair did you have, take? Nick? I had like a little, I had like a little mini fro. But I wanted to be, like the Fonz used to do that. Hilarious. So I used to want to yeah. I used to want to do that, so I brushed <laughs> it all back. And I just remember, it was a bad first day. Like, the first week was horrible. Yeah, it was wait, just, it was wait, you didn't have no uncles or daddy. Nobody tell you, be like, don't, we don't brush our hair back. My dad was just like, so let me tell you about my dad. My dad was just like, he gonna learn. That's just how he was. He's like, he gonna learn. That's how he felt. Cause he, my, my dad was like, you want to be white? All right, go ahead. <laughs> Cause I was like, yo, I was like, the fine. Like, yo, for me, Zach, and the Fonz was fire, like for me growing up. They did Catholic school, cause I thought, I actually thought I went to high school. You was gonna have that locker. You was gonna open it up, had a little book on the seat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Meet oh, the Catholic, buddy. none of that. None of that. I saw a Wait, bunch where, of dudes. Who, who, what city in New York, what, what part of New York did you go to high school? I went to art and design in Manhattan. So oh, man. immediately with the name, I thought I was safe. I went there, I saw a bunch of, I saw a bunch of urban kids, had fronts in their mouth and I was like, okay, this is not, what Saber Bell <laughs> out of hell was like. Yo, <laughs> one dude, yo, one kid said my jeans are so tight that if I farted, a bubble would come. I, I remember the joke. It was slide down <laughs> the side of the play. So <laughs> yo, my first, like, I, I'm be honest with you, high school was never good. Like my last day, I didn't say bye to no one. I just walked out the door. Oh. David Banner, like, uh, the hope, like just left. <laughs> just like, oh, I just got out of you. Oh my God. It's time, 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 time. You know how hard a joke has to hit that you remember it verbatim. I, <laughs> you went to, you started high school in 1995. Bad dude that. Oh, dang it, Kev. You just did that 25 years ago. We, yeah, 20 years ago. 20 years. It was, it was bad. Oh, I remember. He started, if he, if he graduated in 99, and his first day was in 1995. Yeah, 95, 96, yeah. That yeah. is hilarious. 25 years ago, he still remembers that joke. I remember. I, I, I always tell a lot of people always feel like, they feel like I was a jock or whatever it was in high school. High school was, the first two years of high school was horrible for me. The first two years, I was five foot four. I did. I had Afro braces. I didn't know what what I was doing. You were the black. So, you were the black kid who thought he was in a white sitcom. That's hilarious. White sitcom. No, exactly. <laughs> Over there, just like yeah. It wasn't till like it wasn't till like I said. I said about Mace when Mace dropped Harlem World. I remember I was like, I want to do this, and then my cousin was like, Well, this is how you're supposed to have been dressing. So then I was, I got better as time went by. But ninth and tenth grade, always oh, a disaster. <laughs> 
You went from Fonz to though, Mace. That would have been hilarious. Here's one thing. You did this in 95, all right? So mm -hmm. you have some saving grace. Kevin wore some, some tight bone-colored jeans with some pirate Jack Sparrow boots <laughs> and a vest to all death those in 2016. Those were Cole boots. You say what? Or Steve, those, those were Kenneth Cole boots or Steve Madden. One of the that two. Don't make it it doesn't matter. They look like Jack Sparrow See, boots. Here, you wore some Asics that were made out of aluminum foil. <laughs> and we were... We roasted you and you went and threw them away. You, we never saw them again. You had the baked yeah, potato the, the threes thing, on. This is true. And this is true. All, all of the <laughs> roasters in the office roasted me, Nick. Here's the thing about Kevin's outfit. It was a white girl who only watched Disney movies and musicals that roasted Kev to the point that he burned his outfit. Not just threw it away. He set it on fire while he still had it on. She didn't even to roast me either. The worst part is she was just like, what are you wearing? And then the Blacks heard it. The Blacks got wind of it, and it was all down hill from there. Everybody looked like once the Blacks, Once the Blacks were like, you know what? I've been meaning to say something about this outfit all day, but this ain't the culture of the company. Yeah, that was a bad day. Were you originally from Cap? My dad was in the military, so I lived all over El Paso, North Carolina, Virginia, Washington for 13 years, then Los Angeles, California. But he learned how to dress in Washington and New Mexico, basically. <laughs> Shut up here. I just, uh, you was on, on, free, was, lunch, you was on free lunch in college to here. <laughs> I had my own apartment in college, Kev. Okay. Kevin trouble. Oh, he in trouble. What you doing in this room? Get out of here. I'm I'm gonna judge you in a minute. All right. Fun. I gotta go too loud. Melissa shooting downstairs and she rules the day today. I love you all. Good. Yeah, don't forget about the video. Promo video. <laughs> okay, I already forgot, but thank you for reminding me. All right. Was yeah. that what were we talking about? Kev got to go. He about to get in trouble. <laughs> what were we talking about? That Tahir went to uh, schools and trailers in St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all have that trailer out in the back of y'all school? Like the extra classroom? Yeah. Bungalows? We had it. We had it. We had, we had temporary bungalows the entire time I was there, and they're still there. Temporary. Every every school has temporary bungalows that are there forever. <laughs> Overcrowding public schools. What was this um topic? First day or last day of school? Last day of school. Last day all day. I'm gonna say then, first day of school. Your last last day of school is weird when you, cause like, like my, my last day of college, it's usually like, what are you doing this summer? Or what, what school are you going to next? And it was just like, all right, well, what are you doing now in life? It's super weird. <laughs> and that was that was the weirdest last day. But other than that, last days are dope. My last uh, day of school yeah. makes me sad now that I think about it. Cause I don't always, I don't know, I like school. I like being around my friends. And I was like, I was you a cheerleader. Huh? You were popular in high school. Like. No, I wasn't popular, but I was like, I mean, I wasn't not popular. I don't well, know. The reason why I'm saying that is because I think it's different for guys starting school than it is for like <gasps> ladies starting school. I think like y'all, you know, I don't, I don't know if you had the same pressures that we have. You know what I'm saying? What? It's going, worse for girls. Day. For high school girls, it's worse. No you can't be fat. You can't like, you want, the guys got to like you. The girls got to like you. Like, it's a lot. Yeah, I can see that. I like, I like the first day of school. You got the outfit. For the, for the first week or two, you you fresh, you swapping clothes with your cousin, all of that. Like first day of school, it was it was I liked it. Nick, I'm sorry you made those horrible fashion choices, but you know you did that to yourself, Playboy. But to hear, I can see that. But you know what? Not even making a joke. You're a fashion dude, a fashionable dude. So I can see the first day of school being super dope for you. You know what I'm saying? As far as outfits and stuff like that, you take. But like for you know, in New York, you got bullied for wearing for wearing like the right. Car Kanai, like a Car Kanai sweater. If you were a Car Kanai sweater, you was caught broke. And it was, it's crazy because if you look at it now, it was like a black owned company. But back then, they were like, you were broke. Or if you were a Fubu sweater, you got chased out of the school. You didn't like Fubu? It was a lot of bad. 
Huh? Fubu was it hot in New York? We, you couldn't wear Fubu what? if you wore Fubu. If you you if you dared step into a high school in New York City with a Fubu shirt, oh, on, high school. Being, yeah, high school. You were being teased like forever. But you know what? Like, New York is a tough city. I wouldn't want to go to school in New York. I'm not built for that. Nah, nope. No it's, one is. It's, not even the people in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. New York. I, All right, let's put it to a vote. Uh, I say first day. First day. Last, Last day. day. What'd you say, Nick? Last day. All right, well, we don't have five people, so we tied on this one. Uh, you guys can uh, comments which one. No, what like. Kev said he liked last day, though. Yeah, Kev okay. did say All right, so last day. day's have it on that one. All right, we're going to jump right into the second, I'm Ain't sorry, no mail third, in. third um, <laughs> topic of the day right after this. Listen, you guys have been asking, and I did not have the answers to give you that you wanted, but it has finally arrived, ladies and gentlemen. First off, I want to give a big shout out to Magic Spoon because they're an adult cereal making me feel like a kid again, okay? Uh, I remember the days when I used to wake up and, and have a bowl of cereal, or let's be realistic, have three bowls of cereal, watching Saturday morning cartoon. But you get older, you realize all the sugar that they put in there, you're like, man, I can't just keep doing this to my body, especially if I ain't working out. So I gotta do what I gotta do, which means I gotta change my diet up. But a lot of cereal that's supposed to be good for you doesn't taste good. Well, in comes Magic Spoon! Coming in with all the flavors. Now, y'all y'all seen all the videos about Magic Spoon before. I ain't really got to sell you on too much. But what I do want to let you know, or just remind you of real quick, is that it's zero sugar, 11 grams of protein, and only three net grams of carb in each serving. And, again, a lot of you guys were asking, because we were giving you all the news and, and all the information about the variety pack when you just had, it was the cocoa, the fruity, the frosted, and the blueberry, right? Well, now, I can finally tell y'all hmm, about the honey nuts and the peanut butter, right? New flavors that you haven't tried out yet. And here's another thing. You can build your own variety box. All you have to do is go to magicspoon.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to build your own custom variety box and try it today. Be sure to use the promo code squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, at checkout to get free shipping, okay? So again, y'all have been asking. Now I got the answer for you. Don't Wait, do it today. Go to mattispoon.com slash squad to build your very own custom variety box and try it today. And be sure to use the promo code squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, at checkout to get free shipping. And don't forget, Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's back with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund you your money, no questions asked. I want to give a big shout out to Magic Spoon for supporting the, the podcast, man. Um, and you guys, make sure you go out and support them because without them, we wouldn't be able to do that. So we thank Magic Spoon for sponsoring this podcast. All right, y'all. Peace. Last and final topic of the day. Who is your favorite creator? Who do you like better? Jordan Peele versus Donald Glover. Hmm. It's kind of like apples and oranges, to be honest with you. You got to pick between two. Well, he, he, there's the reason why I say that because Jordan Peele is like he's more he's your your TV guy, so he can act, he can he can write, he can direct, he can produce, right? But then Donald Glover can do those things, but he's also a musical guy, so he can rap, he can sing, he can. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's necessarily the same thing because they don't both create the same types of content. That's true, but Jordan Peele gave us, obviously, Get Out and Us, uh, but he also gave us Ken Peele. Mm -hmm. So you got, yeah. you got the songs that they did in there. You have all the sketches that they did in there. You have all of that stuff, too. And he gave us Lovecraft. Is that his? Now he executive he executively produced it, but he didn't he didn't create it. But uh, well, that's what I'm saying. But these are all like so they all stay in basically your view like broadcasting stuff that you would watch on TV or or you know stuff that you would watch. Whereas mm -hmm. Donald Glover can has done that, but he also creates stuff you can listen to. Like he right. creates music and he's really good at it. Music's a good. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's the same. That's true. well. I mean, I guess we would just have to compare their biggest works like are you guys taking key and peel over atlanta hmm. 
It's a good question. That's a tough one because as much as I love Atlanta, Key and Peele is hilarious, you know? Yeah. And Atlanta is, has funny moments, but that's, I don't think that's the point of it. But on the other side, Key and Peele kind of gave us something that Dave Chappelle already gave us. So I don't know which one I would miss more if it was gone, you know? I'm gonna I'm have to go with Donald Glover. He gave me Redbone. You know what I'm saying? I like that song. Uh, um, I'm a fan of his, uh, yeah, his music is, I, I have to go with Donald. I think Donald's giving me more, more memorable stuff than, uh, than Jordan. I wasn't a real fan of the, uh, I like Get Out, but I didn't like Us. Really? You know what I'm saying? So Wait, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I was, I was, I wasn't Us really confused to be scared or I didn't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Like the, I, I really was, I, I went to see it three times and I was confused just to what was going on. Get Out was a masterpiece to me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, Get Out was like, oh, okay. But Us was like, oh, okay, am I supposed to be scared or is this, what is going on in this movie? I didn't get it. Donald Glover, he played uh, Lando Carissian. He killed that role. Um, I liked him like the the the, the show Pat just said. I forgot the name of the show. Atlanta. Um, Atlanta. Atlanta. I like Atlanta. And then his music is fire. Like I have, I have to go with Donald. And this is America. Like that video, that whole at the time it came out. Like yeah, I gotta go with Donald all day. If you take Donald's music out, it's a lot more even. You know what I mean? Like that him, him being as musically talented as he is just gives him the edge over Jordan because without the music side of it, like Jordan's work, his, his body of work is actually really, really strong. So I don't know, I don't know who I would pick if you took music out of it, but I, I think I would have to agree at Donald Glover, like the music, the music Donald side of things tips it, huh? He does comedy too. Does Donald, Donald had, he had a special. Yeah. He was on a, uh, on a uh, was it Thirty Rock? Was he on? Yeah, he's on Thirty Rock. He was the writer. He was a writer on Thirty Rock as well. Writer, yeah, like Donald. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of just like he does everything. He was on Community. He yeah. out. Yeah, I forgot about him being on Community. Oh, that's right. I, I like community. community. I was just waiting to, to bring it up. But yeah. Yeah, I, Community is a good show, actually. Mm. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying it's kind of hard because he's. He's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. I feel like I would take Key and Peele over Community, but I'd probably take Atlanta over Key and Peele. So, yeah, I'm going to go I'm going to go Donald. Oh, we forgot about uh The Lion King. Donald Glover, yeah. you remember he was Simba and Lion King. Oh, yeah. oh that was, that's pretty big, but I wouldn't I wouldn't put that up there. With <laughs> like, that's pretty big, but mm. Hold on, wait, cuz I know that Jordan had done more than that than we we're just saying too. Um, wasn't Jordan on um, uh, Mad TV too? Yeah, he was on Mad TV. Yes, for like five, like a long time. I didn't like Mad TV. What? I love Mad TV. Mad TV was Mad TV. I used to think Mad TV was better than SNL. I did like, too. I, I loved Mad TV. I watched it every week. Yeah, it was really, really good. Really good. Uh, Peel co-created uh, um, the last OG. Tracy Morgan thing, uh, Captain Underpants. He was in that. Ah. Toy Story Four. American, he's been on American Dad, Bob's Burgers, The Muppets, um, Key and Peele, obviously, uh, Rick and Morton, uh, Rick and Morty. I'm sorry, Children's Hospital, Robot Chicken, Drunk History, Modern Family, Donald. He has a nice little list. Donald is look at Donald's strong. look at Donald's awards that he won. His awards and stuff you won. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, last OG, you know, Keanu. I didn't get a chance to see Keanu though. Keanu, I like Keanu actually. It was good. What was that? Is that the hat? Is that the, the one with the cat? Is that the cat? Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> actually, no. It was. It actually was decent. A couple of little chuckles in there. Captain uh, Underpants is a real good movie. He was also. I can't believe uh, I've never seen that. Producer on uh, Black Klansman. Never seen that. Who? Oh, that. That was a good movie. Like that was a really good. Who's who was the producer on there? Uh, Jordan Peele. I feel like I've just seen more of Donald stuff, 
at the end of it. Like looking at these lists, like I've just, Jordan has like a lot of strong stuff, but I just haven't seen a, most of it. It's kind Donald, of, I've, yeah, I've more than likely to watch Donald's stuff. It's kind of yeah. because Donald's more in your face too. That's the, that's the other thing as well. He's like more out there mm -hmm. than uh, Jordan is. Um, He's won more awards. Uh, Donald Glover has won more awards. And so this is an Oscar, America. Jordan has won an Oscar. Oh, well, this yeah, he didn't America. win an Oscar. Yeah, well. This is America, is one of the greatest music videos of our generation, and it was from Donald Glover. Well, Crunchy Black has an Oscar, too, all right? <laughs> and we not, yeah, so what is that about? <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> I mean, forget Bless that. Me. Very good that point. Whole, Very good point. That's a whole thing, too. <laughs> Crunchy? Oh, no, no, uh, Jordan. Does it Donald that. have an Emmy? Donald no. has a, a couple of Emmys, actually. Yeah. Donald has, what does he have? Let me look it up. Uh, yeah, he won in 2017 for Atlanta uh, for, for directing and lead actor. Donald? Mm-hmm. So that takes care of that Oscar talk. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm, I'm yeah, still I mean, going with Donald. What y'all got? I don't know. If, if one of these guys was... To, okay, we got to take the music out of it because that just makes it unfair. Nah. But if we, why? That's not fair. Music and he's good at it. Duh, but I'm saying that just makes it a very uneven fight because Jordan doesn't do music. What, doesn't Jordan do something that Donald though, like, do? like you can't take out a body of work that he's 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 done and he's he's well the next time you pick two people who are more evenly matched to here. Hey Meg, listen, this is this is your personal preference. They don't have to be evenly matched. You can compare a singer and a rapper. They both do music, they both do entertainment, but they are different genres. That doesn't mean that you can't rate them on what's your favorite. That's all we're doing. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm going to, for my personal preference, I'm going to take the music out of it because if I don't, then I'm definitely going to just choose Donald Glover because that to me, he has way more stuff, right? So for me, I'm going to take the music out of it and then just solely compare their bodies of work. And if I think about the bodies of work that each of them has done, um, I think, I think I'm going to go with Jordan Peele. I'd rather watch his stuff especially because i am a huge like there's a you know the horror genre or thriller genre just hasn't really been done by black creators mm -hmm. traditionally and like i really like thrillers and i like that stuff and i love that he's done them and he's done them well so you know and, and lovecraft country is like one of my favorite shows so mm -hmm. because of that i think i'm gonna go jordan peele we're, we're forgetting that Danny. Uh, Donald Glover was also in Spider-Man: Homecoming. Uh, oh yeah, the movie. Well, he wasn't really in that though. You just use the voice. Eh, anybody can use their voice. I, if I take the music out, I still think I will go with Donald because he's probably. I think he's been in more, uh, like a Star Wars movie. He, like I said, he was Lando. Mm -hmm. he, I mean, I don't know how big Lion King holds weight, but he was He was in Lion King. He was. He simple. did sing, and he did sing in that too. He did. He sang, so. Yeah, he's saying. And li right. liking, yeah. Yeah. And then you got Atlanta. Atlanta. And 30 Rock. The community. He's still, he's still, he's still kind of holding some weight. Donald. It's easy. I gotta go Donald on this <laughs> one too. It's done. It's Donald. Ain't nothing else to say. Not fair. I'm just saying. I too would have said <laughs> Donald had I put and if I just focused on everything he's done, then of course Donald wins. I don't know why that was even an, an issue. Nobody else was confused at the end of us. No, nobody. Everybody, everybody knew what was going us on. Us ruined the twist in the trailer. Because it had, had a five on it. You had the five on it in the trailer. I'm like, oh, this song is dope. This movie's going to be it. You know what I'm saying? I go see this really movie. I like that movie. It was was good. I thought that it was, was pretty good. good. Like it made me. I like movies that make me think after I watch them. And yeah. after that movie was over, y'all, in my head for days, I was like, yo. Everybody was talking about it. It I did exactly what it wanted to. Me. That's I, what I'm saying. I, and to me, that's a good movie. That's a sign of good. You made me think about it after I left the theater. 
I solely went to see it after the heat that it, that, that shorty had from Black Panther. I was like, all right, yeah, she's gonna be in this one too. Then when I went in there, I was like, ah, when's Black Panther 2 coming out? That's how I felt. I'm not gonna lie. I was just like, when is Black Panther 2 coming out? Because this is, I don't know what's going on. All right, to here, let us vote. All right, we so decided to vote. Yeah, I said I said Donald. Meg said Donald. Pat, you said no, no, Donald. I said Jordan. You said all right, Meg. All right, what, who you going with, Nick? The Donald. There it is. There it is. Three to one, Meg. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I don't care. I don't need to assimilate just to appease oh, you, oh, Negroes. Okay. Assimilate. All right. Anyway, uh, thank y'all for watching another episode of Squadcast versus Man. We appreciate this. Big shout out to our special guest, Nick Cardan. Thank you so much for pulling up, brother. Uh, Thank you, brother. About a little early, but we will see y'all on the next episodes. Please keep submitting your suggestions. We definitely appreciate it, and uh, we look forward to seeing y'all on the next one. Peace. Bye. Peace.